I've noticed something, and I can't work out whether it's ingenious or just peculiar. Mirrorless lenses using a focus by wire system to pretend to be parfocal. Now, I realise right now there may be some people scratching their heads wondering what the hell is focus by wire and what the hell is parfocal. When you focus a lens, there's a, a group of optics, a, a focusing group of, of optics that will move around to adjust the focus of the of the lens. Now, in older DSLR lenses and in manual focus lenses, this is all mechanically driven. So when you turn the focus ring on a lens, it's physically connected to the focusing optics and you can physically move the optics. And you can see this even if you detach the lens from the camera, if you turn the focus ring, you can actually see the optics moving. In most mirrorless lenses these days that have autofocus, this is no longer mechanical, this is known as a focus by wire, which is when you turn the focus ring, you're not physically moving the optics directly, you're just instructing the autofocus motor what you want the optics to do, and the autofocus motor is then moving the optics instead. Now, parfocal is on a zoom lens, when you change the focal length, a lot of the optics will be moving around in order to change the, the focal length of the lens. However, in many lenses, it will actually cause the focal plane to shift, so the focusing distance changes. For example, if you have a, a subject in focus at the lens's widest focal length and you then zoom in, you'll quite often notice that the subject will drift out of focus, may come back into focus, but the focus will not stay consistent because all the optics are moving around. These are known as very focal lenses. Parfocal lenses, however, will keep the same focus distance as you zoom the lens. And, and this was especially useful for video shooters. If you've got a shot where you're at a, a, a preset distance to your subject and you want to zoom in, you don't want the subject dropping in and out of focus. It's not as much of a problem for still shooters because you can just refocus afterwards. Parfocal is preferable even for still shooters because it means you can suddenly zoom in on a subject and not have to waste time refocusing, but it's not as crucial as for shooting video. So generally you would find parfocal lenses in cinema lenses, but these, were, these are more complex to design because generally with very focal lenses, the focusing optics are also moving when the lens is zooming, which is what tends to cause the focal shift. On parfocal cinema lenses, you tend to find that they have a group of optics that are specific and only move when zooming, and a separate independent group that only move when focusing. But this makes the lens bigger, more complicated design, and far more expensive, which is why you don't usually see stills lenses being parfocal. That being said, though, I've always thought that the Tamron 28-75 was very close to parfocal. It seemed to be because as you zoom in, the subject didn't seem to drop out of focus. However, I noticed a peculiar trait. If I zoom in slowly, the subject remains in focus all the way through. Doesn't matter whether I'm in continuous autofocus, single shot autofocus, or even manual focus, the subject stays in focus. If I zoom very quickly though, I notice that the, the focus actually seemed to drop off and then come back, which is strange because in a, in a truly parfocal lens where the optics are genuinely parfocal, the zooming speed shouldn't actually impact that, should make no difference whatsoever. Which got me thinking, is the autofocus system on the lens working in conjunction when you're zooming in order to create a parfocal effect? And I've drawn the conclusion that yes, it is. Because, like I say, when you zoom slowly, the subject stays in focus. When you zoom very quickly, it drops out of focus but then comes back. That shows that the the focusing optics must be moving because there's optics shifting after you finish zooming. 
If you pre-focus on a subject and then just slightly detach the lens from the camera, now there's no power going from the camera to the lens to be able to power the autofocus motor and the focus just falls off instantly. Now in part it seems to be that that drop in focus is actually because the focusing optics aren't linked to the zoom ring. So when you move the zoom ring the focusing optics don't appear to shift. They appear to be reliant on the autofocus motor moving them instead. So the two have to work in conjunction with each other in order to get the correct zoom. Because the fields of view you get from starting at 28mm and then zooming in with the lens attached to 75mm, even in manual focus, is different than if you zoom in with the lens detached. So clearly the optics that are used for focusing aren't moving, and so the the focal length change isn't quite the same. But this is where I think this is quite an ingenious concept, because clearly the focusing system has been programmed to work in conjunction with the zoom ring. So as the zoom ring turns, the focus system knows that it needs to shift the optics to an extent in order to get that correct focal length change without it actually being linked mechanically to the fo to the zoom ring. But then this allows it to create almost a, a par focal effect lens without it actually having the complexity of being truly par focal because the focus is automatically shifting to work with the zoom ring, even when the lens is in manual focus. But in principle, it should also be helping mirrorless lenses be smaller and lighter, because the focusing optics that are needing to move when the lens is zooming don't actually need to be physically linked to the rest of the, the zooming optics, or the, the zoom ring at all, it can all be done relying on the focus motor that it's already connected to anyway. So, I don't know if this is the only lens that does this, because this is the only native mirrorless zoom lens that I own. If any of you guys have any other mirrorless zoom lenses, the Sony mount or other, it would be very interesting to know whether this is a, a Tamron trait or something that everyone is employing. Especially if you've got the Samyang 24 to 70 f 2.8, because I'm pretty sure that was advertised as actually being a par focal lens. So it would be interesting to know whether that is a truly par focal lens, or is it, you know, using the focusing system electronically to compensate for it. If you have any lenses, do test them out. If you have any questions or queries or any information at all, let me know in the comments down below. While you're down there, if you enjoyed this video and you haven't already done so, then please consider hitting the like and subscribe button, and then hopefully we'll see you in the next video.